guys, I hope you're having a lovely week. We have the nicest few days coming up. Cameron's family are over from South Africa and it's actually the first time they have visited the UK. And so we're going on a bit of an explore of the British countryside. Oh! So we are gonna escape the city together. We're gonna do a bit of a loop through some of the most beautiful places in the West Country. We're doing Salisbury, the Cotswolds, Bath, Oxford, the whole thing. So obviously I'll bring you guys with me. I'll show you all the things that we do and what we eat. I am already very late as always. So Cameron's desperate to rush me out the door. So let me just give you a quick overview of what I've packed and then we will hit the road. And yes, I am a girl in her late twenties who still has a cuddly toy when she sleeps. Anyway, I've got pajamas and bras and socks all there. I've got my dresses and my clothes for the two days packed in my packing cube. Even for a two day trip, the packing cubes are just 10 out of 10. I've got a couple of pairs of shoes. I actually got these sandals quite recently from Steve Madden, which are a bit of a Valentino rock stud dupe. And they're so comfy. I've been wearing around the house the last couple of days to kind of wear them in a bit, but they don't really need it. They're really comfy, which is lovely. So I've got those. I've also got a bit of a Hermes Oran dupe as well. These are great from June. And then I'm still loving my little Oliver Bonus toiletry kit, my toothbrush head sticking out the end. And my makeup bag, I've got a jumper just in case I need it, but to be honest, I mean, it is so hot in this country at the moment, I really don't think I'm gonna need it. So, I'm gonna zip up, get ready to go, and then we're gonna go pick up his family on the way and hit the road. I'll also link this jumpsuit for you, sorry for how bad the state of this mirror is, but I'm absolutely loving it. It is so comfy and so flattering. It's also got pockets, which is so fun. So I thought this would be good because we're doing a decent amount of driving over the couple of days. So I definitely want to be comfortable. The fact that it's got straps, it's still sunny. Maybe I'll even get a bit of a tan. Right, look, I mean, he is fully ready to go. So <laughs> I need to hurry up. silly of me but yes we are our first stop in Salisbury and it is so pretty I mean did you see those baby swans they were so fluffy and cute and just all of the nature I just felt so much more like relaxed and peaceful immediately after being out of the city classic that on our first stop it starts to rain I mean not rain rain but like it's a bit grayer than it has been but yeah this is so lovely we've now just stopped at the cutest pub called the mill or the old mill Again, I'll link it below because it's so beautiful, I really recommend it. We've stopped, we're going to have a cup of tea and a little drink, and then we're going to keep going to the cathedral, which I am so excited to see because you'll have seen it in the backdrop behind kind of the river and the lock. I mean, the, it just looks spectacular. I cannot wait to go inside it. It looks incredible. Anyway, so going to have some drinks, then go visit the cathedral, and yes, day one is already going so well.
guys and welcome to beautiful bath we have just arrived and checked into our little hotel or i guess it's more of a and b it's very cute let me show you our room we've got quite a big one because we've actually got like a wheelchair accessible one but you come in through the door and in the wardrobe you've got all your tea and coffee facilities so you've got like drinks and a kettle and packets of biscuits and tea and stuff <laughs> cameron's just <laughs> dived off the bed where he was <laughs> plonked um, but we've got a lovely bed, we've got a fan, no air con, so that's going to be interesting in this heat, but the room is so cute, we've got lovely big windows out onto a garden area, a little vanity section which is really cute, chucked our stuff down and then, I love the bedside tables, they're lovely. And then into our very large bathroom. As I said, we've actually got an accessible room because it is fully booked tonight. So a slightly different bathroom. We've got a bit more of a wet room, but it does mean that it's very nice and large. So yeah, we're now literally going to unpack. Well, not really much unpacking for two nights day, but chuck our bags down, freshen up a little bit, and then we're gonna head into Bath City Center. We're gonna get some drinks. We've already got some dinner booked at one of my favorite places because if you didn't already know, I actually went to university in Bath. So it's so, so, so nice to be back. I haven't been back for a while now. It's been oh, well over a year at the very least. So there's a place that I've booked for dinner, which I used to love to come to, and it's got a rooftop, which in this weather is gonna be so nice. So freshen up, out for dinner, and I'll show you around bar. Okay, we're ready to go. I have definitely caught some sun today, so I'm a little bit burnt, but I just had a shower and changed into the Amazon dress that I'm sure you guys have seen before. If you haven't, I'll link it below. It's like super breathable, really summery, but it's still got a bit of a sleeve and it's nice and long, so you can be covered up if you've caught a little bit too much sun or if you just prefer to wear things that are slightly longer during the summer months. I love it, but... Yes, we're literally gonna go on the hunt for something nice and cold to drink. Now, let's go explore. ready for day two we've just had such a lovely breakfast honestly this b and b is so cute you kind of let yourself in everywhere there isn't a proper reception but like the breakfast was lovely they had everything you wanted like pastries and cereals and you had to put a little slip out of your door the night before so last night we had to put what we wanted for breakfast and yeah i had eggs and salmon and cameron had like a full english and ah oh, it's such a lovely place anyway we're now packing up to leave i mean as i said it's literally one night we're doing a very whistle stop tour of the cotswolds so today we're going to explore a little bit more of bath we're going to go up to the royal crescent hopefully we're actually going to go into the roman baths although we'll see how we go for time we're definitely going to go and have a look at the abbey which is also where i graduated which is so nice we kind of wandered around the perimeters of it yesterday but we didn't get a chance to like really take it all in but yeah we're going to do another couple of hours in bath and then we are hitting the road and heading deeper into the cotswolds which is going to be so lovely so we're going to stop off at a few different villages and then going to one of my favorite places in the whole world later on this afternoon before we stop for our second night just outside of oxford and the weather is stunning again it is beautiful blue skies i did catch a bit of sun yesterday and go a little bit pink so i put a proper factor 50 now on like my chest and my shoulders and of course my face so hopefully i will avoid going to pink today but yeah let's get started
guys. Probably one of my favorite places on the planet. And this is the cheese section. And you get all these different little slices. I mean, cheese is so expensive, isn't it? Oh, this one's 30% off. But it's just so lovely in here. It's a temperature controlled room, so it's separate. And it's really cold in here and it keeps all the cheese at their perfect temperature. And I mean, if you're a cheese lover, this is just heaven. To have a dinner party and be able to compile a lovely cheese board with all of these goodies. I mean, what joy. Look at these little sheep ones and little packets, so cute. I'm sorry, 49 pounds for one glass. Oh, that can't be right. Surely it's at least that for a set. <laughs> okay, they were beautiful. But they'll have to be beautiful over there on their own, not in my house. No, these bowls I love. These little pink, cute little pink rim. <laughs> stuff from these gorgeous flowers has spilled onto her, but these pink rooms are stunning. And they go with a little, I mean, these are slightly more lilac-y. But to go with this like lilac floral display, I just love the tablescapes at Dalesford so much. I'm carrying around my solitary little candle, which I'm definitely getting, but wow. I'm just never not impressed every time I come here. Look at how cute all this stuff is. They've got green colour, which is also lovely. stop of the trip so I actually think I thought we were staying close to Oxford than we are but we're actually deep in the Cotswolds which is even more beautiful we've just had some dinner I had fish and chips and it was lovely but I'm honestly exhausted so I'll give you a quick view of the room and then I'll show you exactly where we're staying tomorrow it is so cute and really lovely 
I mean, full disclosure, the rooms are very warm. There are no fans, no aircon, and it's pretty toasty in here, but they are adorable. So I'll just show you our room before I get ready for bed. But you come in here, the bathroom is straight through here. We've got this lovely big shower. That shower head looks absolutely divine. I'm gonna jump in there soon. Where's the light switch? Here we go. I love all the little country touches. Very cute, there's a little stool in the shower. And then if you come through here, this is our lovely bed. We've got windows to outside. And again, everything here is just so pretty. So we actually had dinner literally at that table right down there next to these gorgeous flowers. So it's all very cute and cozy. And then we've got this really cute coffee station. We've got a proper kettle, we've got a coffee machine, we've got teas and all the milk and sugar we need and the Nespresso pods if we need them and some water. Guys. But yes, I'm now going to jump in the shower and then jump into bed because goodness me, it's been a long day. A lovely day, but a long day. And then we also have a very long day ahead of us tomorrow. Tomorrow we're exploring more of Oxford. Hopefully we're gonna go punting. We're exploring a palace. So I will definitely take you with me for the whole thing tomorrow. Good night guys. Good morning. We are up, it's early, well, feels early it's like 8 15 and we've come for a little walk before we have breakfast and then we're going to spend the rest of the day exploring Blenheim and Oxford hopefully we're going to go punting on the river if we can find a boat which will be so nice slept so well last night um completely out of it but I think the last couple of days have been very busy and we're doing a bit of um stalking of houses this morning because they are so beautiful around here I mean honestly the urge to pick up and move to the Cotswolds is very strong. But we're going to have a little stroll and then head back, have some breakfast before setting off on our final day. Yeah, these tiny fluffy babies <laughs> they're all so chilled look we are literally surrounded on this gorgeous lake by all of these tiny geese you don't mind that we're here one bit look at you these ones are slightly bigger babies mom and dad Wow, this place is just stunning. These are the grounds of Blenheim Palace. And wow, 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 it is beautiful. Oh, now we found the ducks, have you made a friend? <laughs> I can't believe how chilled they are. Hello. 
Hello.